Ahoy! Today we have for you second part of our adventure from Turkey. This time we visited village market. We saw Turkish fighting matches. Then we have explored a cave. We visited a town from where Safran originates and we walked through Canyon Park. When we were refueling at petrol station, we heard the music and service man told us a fighting match were just around the corner. So we went to see them, at least for a while. The matches were held with a great fanfare. They started with Turkish national anthem. children and adolescents wrestling, but also adults were preparing themselves for the match. Some of the spectators were very passionate about it. We still had a long way to go, so we visited local market in this village and continued on. Our troubles took us to the next place to China. What the hell is that? Do you, do you see what's on those wheels? Some drivers were probably inspired by war chariots. So our journey led to the village Chair. And how else the journey was not easy. Because at the time when we passing through, there was infrastructure work on the road. Fortunately, it didn't rain that day. We have arrived to our destination greeted by ringing cows and we pick up the trash around the van. We notice that the nature in Turkey is very littered, so at least we clean up around the places where we camp. We visit the restaurant where tea was served right in the stream of river. Above the restaurant there was a path along the stream. Okay. We decided to explore it and at the end of it we discovered a cave. <laughs> Raketa. Přiveď Leo. Ten blázen.
It was quite dark inside, so we went to get the flashlight in order to explore it properly. When we returned, we went against the flow of the icy river into the dark depths of the cave. But we only walked about 50 meters, we couldn't go any further because the water got too deep and in order to continue we would have to swim through. We read that the cave is 1.3 kilometers long and can only be explored by boat. We met lots of bats there, mainly the ground was covered with what they produced. At the entry of the cave we saw a host that led water from cave directly to the restaurant. Well, apparently the tea was enriched with some of that guano. But the tea was good. We also took bath in the stream from the cave, but the water was bloody cold. Safranobolu. This city became famous thanks to saffron that was grown here. There are well-preserved historical buildings here, like original spawns, inns, bazaar, mosque and caravan sarai, which are inns for lodging caravans. The most earliest sources mention this place by 390 AD under Byzantine Empire, though today architecture dates back only to the Ottoman Empire. The city was main trade artery road thanks to the sale of saffron. We drove the van over the city and enjoyed the red moon rise while smoking imam and singing sh uh, smoking shisha and singing imam. We found this beautiful place called Kura Nature Reserve and with our bridle we got surrounded by the horde of puppies right at the parking lot. So, they mainly are known as during the grilling and Adri wasn't too happy about them either. After we came into Turkey, we also started regular grilling according to the local customs. We found out that public grilling places are very popular in Turkey. Entire families gather here, or friends come to such places for tea and piece of roasted meat. There is a trail built here through the Horma Canyon and that trail must be very difficult to build because it is held on a steep rock wall and leads through the entire canyon to the Idija waterfall. The path leads over the wooden bridges and is 3 kilometers in total. Thank you. 
It is not difficult way, but some places are very steep or lead very low under the rock. The path here is narrow and people who are afraid of dogs had an even more adrenaline-filled experience of this journey. Because they had to walk very close ah. to our little wolf Funny. monster. Say. Hello. us with its gorgeous and diverse nature. In the next part we will look into even greener region of Turkey. Until then, hoi!